Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. In this video, I'll talk about the patient counselling on ECV, which is external catholic version. So these are the steps. For the first step, we have to introduce ourselves as a medical student or as a doctor to the patient. Second, confirm the patient information, make sure it is the correct patient and the correct procedure. Third, check their background knowledge by asking, do you know what ECV is and see how much they know about it. Fourth is to explain why we have to do this external Catholic version. So usually it is done in bridge presentation babies. So we have to tell the patient if they decide to use vaginal bridge delivery, there is actually a higher perinatal mortality and morbidity rate, which is four times higher. So we will do the external Catholic version first to change the baby from bridge presentation to Catholic presentation and then use normal vaginal delivery. Fifth is to explain the steps of the procedure. Briefly tell them that this ECV is done by turning the baby from the buttock presentation to the head presentation, transabdominally, so by abdomen maneuver on their stomach. Sixth, we have to explain the risks and complication of this procedure, where this ECV might have some risk of placenta eruption, hemorrhage, cord entanglement, pre-labor rupture of membrane, my cause fetal bradycardia, uterine rupture, and if there is fetal distress, we will need to change to emergency lower segment caesarean section. So the patient have to know about all these risks. And the success rate for this ECV is around 70 to 80 percent. We have to inform the patient about the alternative procedures, where if this ECV is failed, we can repeat the external carefully version at 38 weeks. And we can also consider changing to lower segment caesarean section at 39 weeks. So the mode of delivery have to be decided latest by the 38 weeks. Benefits of the procedure, if this ECV is successful, we will be able to avoid lower segment caesarean section. So with less LSCS scars, we can permit for more pregnancies for the patient in future. And lastly, ask whether they have any question they want to ask and then thank the patient. So that's all for the steps for patient counselling on ECV. Thank you.